This program contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. Hallelujah. We bless the Almighty God for another day, for His faithfulness, His loving kindness, and His goodness towards us and to all our viewers out there. My name is Oluwatoyi Olaleko. I want to welcome you to Living Couple, a program where we discuss about marriage, every good thing that the Lord has done, everything He has prepared to make sure that our life becomes better. Marriage and institution, like I say always to some people, it is only the school where you collect certificates before you go to the school. Immediately you get wedded, they give you the certificate. Then you begin to work to show God that you deserve or truly that certificate given to you, you can justify it. Yes, we'll be discussing about marriage today. The sweetness of marriage, the goodness of marriage, the challenges in marriage, we will be talking about it. And I know that tonight's episode is such an interesting one that you will love to listen and watch over and over again. If you're joining us for the very first time, like I said, this is Living Couple where we talk about marriage. And uh, we have wonderful couple coming on this, air, on this program to tell us how they have justified the certificate given to them on the day of their wedding. I'm not here alone. I am here with wonderful people. A couple. Couple that have lived together for years and they will be telling us about their marriage. I have with me tonight Pastor Paul Adekwegba. You are welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Ma also, I have his lovely, beautiful wife, smiling. The man is smiling the way, I'm, as I'm saying, you know, looking at her, it, it's not true. <laughs> Calling the wife's name is enough, <laughs> giving him a lot, a lot of smile. I have Pastor Mrs. B.C. Adekwegba. You are welcome to Living Couple. Thank you so much, ma'am. They are the um, APICP of Youth Province 7 in Redeemed Christian Church of God. So they will be sharing with us from their wealth of experience on this journey called marriage. But before we start all things, we want to start with a short word of prayer from Pastor Adi Adikwiba. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this great program. Thank we you, ask Jesus. you to please take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything that will be discussed today, let it be to the glory of your name. Amen. Thank you, awesome Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Lord. The beauty of marriage like someone said, he said a great marriage is not when perfect couple come together. It is when imperfect couple learns to enjoy their differences. Hmm. And that is what we want to talk about. And let me start by asking one question from you, sir. Okay. <laughs> uh, are you a perfect person? Uh, I'm not perfect, but I'm working towards um, perfection. Okay. Did you marry a perfect person? Far from it. She's, <laughs> she, no, no, she's, like I said, I am working towards being perfect. And she is also, she has her flaws when we got married. And, um, but thank God for what he's um, doing. Mm. When you wanted to marry, were you not looking for somebody that was perfect? Yes, I, I was actually looking for someone um, perfect. And uh, like I, I do tell people, mm. it, it took me, S uh, seven solid years mm. to even um, get someone uh, I call Ololufe. Mm. Uh, so I was looking for... Uh, Can you tell us what that perfect person, what it's, it entails, what does it look like? You know, like some people will tell you, I, I want somebody tall, I want somebody... Yes, I, I, I had all those things. You know, while growing up, 
jokingly, I used to talk to myself, I, I would like to get married to maybe an Indian girl, uh, <laughs> Aousa girl, you know, this pointed, pointed nose, nose mm. tall, beautiful, mm. and, and all that. So I, I had all those thoughts in my head mm. while, while uh, growing up. Mm. And, but I thank God for who God gave me, uh, who I ended up getting married Is to. Is she Indian? Uh, no, she's not. The, the last time I think she's from United States of Oshun State. <laughs> so she's both Indian and Fulani combined together, combined together in Oshun State. In Oshun State. Mm. So Ma, did you marry a perfect man? Uh, uh, but like you were looking said, for a perfect person. Yeah, well, let me not say I was looking for a perfect person. Uh, um, it um, depends on the definition of a perfect person. Mm -hmm. We want your own for. definition. So my own definition of a perfect person, as at that time, is someone that um, um, is good looking, as at that time, and someone that fears God. That's uh, that's my definition. I need. I, I wanted a, a man. What I want in a man is someone that fears God, that will love me, and then who is good looking. Were, were, were you a Christian? By that time, were you born again? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, I've been born again for quite a while before. In fact, we met in, in a church, okay. in the church, in a fellowship. Okay, okay. so I've been born again. So um, looking at what we've been taught in the church, what we've been taught in the fellowship, and what the word of God said, I was looking for, okay, someone that will fear God. So Once I your get own someone perfect that, yes. person is someone, someone that, that fears God. God. You were not considering his height, his size, his looks. That's like I said, I wanted someone good. You know, definition, that's like perfect, getting someone perfect, mm -hmm. uh, you have your definition of it. Mm -hmm. I need someone that is good looking and who love God. Mm -hmm. So my own is not, okay, I want to get someone who is good looking and with plenty of money or something. I want someone that is that is good looking, that has, um, you're good looking, and also you love God. So is he good looking? <laughs> <laughs> you can see, he's a very, he's a very fine man. <laughs> oh, I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, he's a fine man. So, now, uh, we have the definition of your perfect person and her perfect person. Now, this journey of marriage, you met in the church. You know, you were looking towards maybe that was years back before you got born again, or so you were. But even after getting born again, you're not thinking of marrying that Indian person. No, you know, with those no, looks. no. You know, the, the, the moment I. We thank God for the, the help of the Holy Spirit. I remember um, while growing up, we needed. Uh, I just seen a girl. Ah, this girl is fine. I, I think I can marry. So I did something then. I, I put the name of. Uh, Sister B.C. wrote her name in a sheet of paper and another girl's name that I was hoping or she was hoping to get married to me. So I now um, folded the two. I remember that was in Ife. Mm -hmm. So I threw it on the table mm -hmm. and I prayed, God, help me. Whosoever I pick now is going to be my wife. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I picked the, the, other the other lady that I did not really want to marry. Oh, you so didn't even want I, her. Didn't, I didn't want to get married to her. So when I opened it, I looked up to her and said, ah, I'm sorry, please, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> so I knew, but, but I now thank God for the, the, the spirit of discernment. Mm -hmm. that, no, you don't get a wife True. by doing uh, that. Doing that. Uh, thank God for um, leading us. Like I said, it took me seven years. When I proposed to her, I had to wait, and she kept telling no, 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 mm -hmm. until finally God gave us breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Did you have any, were you in any relationship before you met her? Um, apparently, I, she was my, the first person I proposed to. Mm -hmm. But because she did not give me her consent. Okay. And so while in, uh, in my school mm -hmm. then, um, my mates were getting engaged. So I felt, ah, come, uh, boy, biology, my, how will you leave school and not have, have someone somebody. that? Mm -hmm. So I just saw a sister in the ocean department. Very beautiful sister. I told her, I said, look, uh, God did not tell me, but I love you. Will you marry me? And she mm. said, yes. Mm. Because she didn't accept my proposal, and I felt, how can you wait for... Uh, but one interesting thing that happened, the night I made that proposal, God spoke to me, said, you have made a mistake. Mm. 
But I pretended, you know, there's a way you can suppress the voice of the Holy Spirit. You know he's talking to you, but you just don't want to listen to him. But to the glory of God, every other thing, you know, is now history. So, um, so why did it take you seven years to, to give your consent? What, what was going on in your mind? Were you well, in a relationship? No, I wasn't in a relationship. Number one, I was still in school. That's number one. I think he has asked me this question severally. A lot of people have also asked me, that why seven years? Okay, so he came with the um, word that um, I have a conviction. God told me. He just walked straight walking. to you? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, that was, I remember, it, God told me. It's not as if, okay, I love you and I he want to. He didn't even yeah. have a beauty to uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no romance. Uh, no, it, it wasn't. It came with the... Um, God told me you're my wife and all mm. this stuff. So I felt, oh, Allah will say, fine, have you heard? Did you, did you hear God? It's good that um, he has told you that mm -hmm. he heard God. But you should have a, Your own an evidence. Too. Yes, a conviction that you've, you've heard God also. So based on the fact that I didn't hear, I, I declined. So I didn't hear for seven years? Uh, you know, it's... It was <laughs> praise the Lord. Because seven years we, is a long time. We, it's a yeah, long time. it's a long time. You know, we we went our separate ways after the um, no go your way and all those. So we went our separate ways. We finished school and all those. So you know, he was still trying to, but it wasn't in my agenda as at that time. As in not not really. I was praying about it. Actually, I was but really you're not praying. Ready for she it. wasn't ready I was, for yes, I wasn't relationship. Ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was praying, one, one of the prayers I do then is that God, I won't I, I will make mistake in marriage, you understand, I, I won't, and God really helped me, actually. A lot, somebody had asked me, I said, ah, hey, what if you, you now, you later now said yes, what if you got married, what if you, you by the time you realize you had gotten married, mm -hmm. I said, it was one of the things I was praying about, okay. that, okay, even though I wasn't ready, even though I wasn't so sure, I've not heard him, but Father, even in my waiting, mm -hmm. may I not miss your purpose. Mm -hmm. And God really helped. He brought us back somehow. Somehow. And by that time, hmm. I was a, a bit, a lot matured. Okay. I could hear better, you know. Uh, I could say, okay, if there's anything that's going to happen in the future, hmm. or oh, obviously you heard God also mm -hmm. about this relationship. Okay. Hmm. Now that the seven years got a yes, so how did this journey begin? Yeah, the, the, the journey started... Um, 2004, oh, yeah. 24th of March, mm. uh, when we got married um, at Ilefe Methodist Church of Balufo. Mm. And um, it's, it's, it was so fantastic uh, uh, journey. <coughs> so, you got married to yourselves. And, um, you know, I just want to know when, when you got the yes, you took her home. When I got the yes mm -hmm. from her, mm -hmm. uh, it, it took me time. I, I didn't. I didn't take her. <laughs> I didn't take her home uh, immediately. Okay. Yes, it, it took me Why? time uh, because uh, number one, I, I was still basking in the euphoria of, wow, for seven years, and this person just said yes. That was on the fourteenth of February. Okay. Yeah, two thousand and four. We got married two thousand and seven. Oh. Two thousand and four. So I needed to prepare my my parents. Uh, mind because the the first person I told you about mm. had brought her home. Whoa. Yes, they saw. So coming home, and they home, wanted her. Yeah, um, they they, my her. mother had her own issues. Okay, the moment she saw the person, she didn't like the whole idea. And me, mm. I was feeling like, are uh, you the one to choose the person I will marry for? I'm born again and all that. Mm. So bringing another person, person. home, I'll look so. Mm. Uh, are you serious? So it took me time, okay. and um, when I was now sure. This is uh, the right thing to do. So I introduced that to my to parents. parents. What about you, Ma? Taking him home, was it immediate or it took you time to? Because it, it took you time, time to say yes for seven <laughs> years. <laughs> it took time. Why was that? Um, I, expect, I was expecting a move from his own side. Okay. Okay. For, for us to go, at least we know, okay, a, a level of commitment mm -hmm. towards home, even though I know that for us to have come together, it's, it's for the for a lifetime but okay. i needed him to make that first move mm. 
to take me home. So after he had taken me home, that was then, and I said, okay, you can come meet my own parents. <laughs> so uh, he came to Ife then. I'm meeting your parents the day I set him. Yeah. Meeting my parents was, I think, very close to when we're about to even get married. Very close to introduction time. Yes. 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 Why did it take you that long to take mm. him home? I was, we were in Lagos. We still, you know. Mm. Her parents were living in, um, they, they, I mean, they, they, they have their base in Ife. Ife. Okay. So, so we our relations, in, we were in, Lagos. were in Lagos. Although okay. they, they, she, they knew that. Um, We've been talking about him. About him. They've asked okay. me. Okay. I already told them, okay, this person is, okay, his name is Paul and all those stuff. But it was later when we're, okay, we're talking about getting married, coming okay. for introduction. Okay. And I said, okay, let him come over. Okay. So he first so come and meet him. You talked about your mom seeing the other lady and not, she, ha she had her issues she concerned. Had issue, yeah. So now when you brought her home, what was mama's uh, response? What Sin was sincerely, I, I was amazed. My mother, it was like they had uh, known for years. Mm -hmm. The way she um, accepted my wife, uh, there, w there were no issues. I don't know how, she, how that uh, played out, unlike the first mm -hmm. one when she mm -hmm. just told me she, she didn't like the idea. But mm -hmm. when I took her home, uh, it, was, it was a good uh, one, except my, my dad. Um, mm. Yes, except okay. my. Uh, in <laughs> fact, my, she was embarrassed <laughs> that that day. Okay. My father was seated in the sitting room. So when I said, she just walked in and I said, Ah, uh, Daddy, this is the lady that uh, I'm going to get married to. And he now said, Ah, is that how you introduce your wife and your modis? And that was in, no. in his word. So when he got upstairs and uh, wanted to greet my dad, she didn't go on, on her the, news. On the two news. On the two I news. was on my new boy, wasn't uh, but with my two then, Yes. I, then my dad now said, excuse me, uh, where, is, where are you coming from? You said you're a Yoruba girl. Yeah. And you are greeting me without One putting your two knees. In fact, I was, I was embarrassed. My mother was even, ah, this man, what are you saying? Uh, <laughs> I was a uh, So oh. she had it hot. She had, I had it hot. From my... <laughs> what, what was going on in your mind when Baba was, was saying like, that? Yeah, I hope I'm not. <laughs> I'm not goofed. <laughs> You were like, am I, I, am I sure I'm making the just right? Like I said, was like, it was like he said, it was an embarrassing... Uh, yeah, it was. Yes, yeah, so I didn't even know what to do. So they had to mm. come in. So when Mama when was, he knew, I okay. guess he had gone too far. Ah. But, so he now, eh, you know you're my daughter. You can't be marrying my firstborn and mm. not... Uh, oh, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so. So, and, uh, you, but later, Baba got to love you. Oh. Ah. <laughs> they are, they are best you are there, I think almost around uh, that, um, time. that time, yes, as in uh, that day, we were able to warm up. But honestly too. speaking, that very first day. Ah, but no, no, it was, it was thank God. Just like I said, mm. he, he's a very loving person, so he could quickly adjust. Uh -huh, because you know that kind of um, intro can, mm. can put someone, can put someone off. off. Because that was so, why I said what was mm. going on in your mind, apart from being embarrassed. You like, know, now looking at it, that uh, uh, this one I that hope, I want to, I this, hope I'm not, I hope I'm not I, coming uh, uh, to, I'm, to, to come and enter a firehouse, uh, you know, and that's good. So and I wasn't expecting from the, you were expecting know, from the, yes, normally, normally it's from normally the woman. Feel, yes, mm. such a, a few such reactions will come from the mom. The mom. So mm. I was shocked that it's coming from like, oh God, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank God. Oh, At least you, we are, we are, we are smiling today. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes Baba yes. has uh, brought you. Yeah, thank God you. Ah, even switch. when I kneel down now, my two will tell me uh, yeah, yeah, I'm overdoing it. it. Yeah, stop, stop kneeling down. Ah, uh, no, no. Oh. I as in and it has not stopped. So I keep you keep doing kneeling. It. Uh, no, no, no. The two must be on the floor. <laughs> and Baba is now saying no. He's yeah, that, no, no. You don't. No, no, you are no, no longer no, 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 doing no, 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 no. Wow. We thank God for that. We thank God for that. Now, your very beginning, being married. You know, did you start with uh, duplex, with uh, luxury? Mm -hmm. What was your beginning like? Well, uh, thank you so very much for that question. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a way to really encourage those that are uh, newly coming up. When we got married, I was on salary of um, 15,000, mm -hmm. 15, 20,000, yes. Mm -hmm. And so I was living in one room apartment mm -hmm. where our room is not so big, it was not so big. So there, there's this mattress, two and a half mattress mm -hmm. that we put on the floor. Mm -hmm. We had a TV that was 
gifted us, and you have to heat it by the side for it to work. And that's the truth. We have wow. to heat. If, you don't, if, if you, you don't, if you don't <laughs> heat it by the side, the TV will not. Uh, will not show. respond. No, the kettle mm -hmm. and the sharing toilet with about thirteen people. Mm -hmm. So if you are pressed. Mm -hmm. And someone is in that toilet. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to start doing one prayer session for the person to. So it was it was very very rough, mm -hmm. very very rough. Mm -hmm. We st we started on a very very rough um, note until gradually things started picking up. Uh, Before things start started picking mm -hmm. up, you knew it was staying in one room apartment. Before mm -hmm. you got married, yeah. and you were comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. You didn't have any um, like a second thought. No, um, no second thought. Why? Why? Why there was no second thought was that um, I always tell um, people I, as the moment we started relationship, I this I knew he shared with me. We talk, so I knew where he was going to. I knew his vision. He wasn't lazy. He's working, so I know we can put. I'm not a lazy person. I'm working. We can put one or two things together. Mm -hmm. I know that might be, that particular scenario will be the beginning, but definitely that's not going to be the end. Wow. So yeah. I, I said, okay. And I think before, even though it was a one room apartment, apartment. we already have a, uh, a plan, plan to, to move out, to yeah. move out at, at that time. Okay. That okay, maybe in the next one, two months, then. Okay, did yes, you stay long? We didn't no, really we didn't stay, stay long stay there. Long. Mm. But the truth is we started from there. And, wow. and also what, what helped me, mm. you know, I did not um, uh, live a life I was not, I was not. What the mayor about is, not pretending. I wasn't pretending, yeah. that's the yeah. word. Mm. So she would come from, she was working in a microfinance bank. Mm. I was a school teacher. Mm. So I'll be teaching mathematics and chalk all over my head. She knew, mm. look, this is the person mm. I am going to get married to. Mm. And... I was hoping. You didn't go and show her show a her, flat? Uh, no, mm. you know, this is, I was staying with my mm. parents. And, but like, like she said, each time we had reason to talk, mm. I was sharing with her mm. my vision. Mm. I'm believing God in X, Y, Z years mm. will be here. Mm. And so she knew, though the beginning small. is small, this is the kind of person that ah. I am get, I'm, I'm getting married to. Thank God. You know why I asked that question? You know, some people will look at it and say, oh, one room, and we are getting married. We need to, uh, at least I'm working in a little bit better place than you. We can still afford to get somewhere, you know, and live, you know. There will be some standard, some, mm. some ladies will. So it's a great, let me say kudos to you. Thank you, Because it's not easy to come down to that level of a room. And then having, how many toilets, uh, how many? One toilet to one be shared about 13, 13 mm. people. Hmm. Where you'll be singing some and singing some <laughs> before you have your bath in the morning or even to use You have the... to wake up early if you, hmm. if, yeah, if you, so that while some are still sleeping, you would have you done would have, You would have been done. Hmm. We thank God. But thank God today the story is different. Yeah. Yeah. So telling us that the beginning may be small, hmm. but the letter yeah, end is greater. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And uh, marriage is sweet. Mm -hmm. yes, Do you agree? I agree. Very okay. Well. And uh, like I said, from the quote I gave initially, marrying the perfect person is not what makes a great marriage. Mm. But when we have our differences, working it out, enjoying the differences. And I know you experienced that too in your marriage. So, yeah. Now when you now, since she, you waited seven years to marry this damn self, <laughs> you now married her, even though you talk and things like that, there are some, you know, what not, there are some faults or flaws yeah. that you would have discovered Mm. over time and also from her own side even though you said you prayed and you asked god for the perfect will and god gave you the perfect will now how did both of you handle the issue of maybe a little misunderstanding or conflict in marriage mm. okay let, let me start um with all due respect to my wife she she's not really um a communication person Mm. I had the issues, you know, even before our marriage. Okay. I could use my lunch money to make calls. Mm. Those are the days of one minute, 12 seconds is okay. two minutes. Mm. Yeah, mm. You know, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. You know, yeah. Until and they will wait for one minute Exactly. Or so, no, yeah. when you do one minute, one minute yes, 15 even seconds, the 15 seconds is, is a minute. two minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I could use 
uh, my my tife mm. to call my wife over mm. and over. I would keep calling another, mm. and I could try to walk the other day, mm. and so I realized she's not really the calling type. Um, I could call four or five times in a day. Mm -hmm. My wife may just return, uh, sorry, I was busy and, da -da 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 and all that. And so I, I thought she would change over time. Mm. But I was wrong. <laughs> Until now, oh. I am still, <laughs> she's still doing it. Because, you know, um, so after the marriage, I, honey, Ululufe, don't you call? So I keep, uh, you know, calling and calling. So did you get tired when before you got married? When you noticed, or was it love that was still sincerely? In I was the air? love. Love was all. Over. I said if I could wait seven for seven years, years okay. to get her, yes. Mm. No calling should not be, be a problem. It should not be a problem. Mm. I, I crossed the greater the greater hurdle. Mm. Waiting, By waiting for seven years. Yeah, mm. So I felt I could manage communication. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, but it, it got so bad. Like, maybe I travel, and I, I'm still expecting, ah, is it that you can't even call? Have you reached your destination? destination? destination. And so I would give her that feedback. Ah, this is not good. So we had that issues, mm. and it was, it was almost creating a, a rift. Mm. Mm. I, I stumbled on uh, a mail some time ago mm. where she was saying, look, accept me the way I am. Mm. This, is, this is me. Do I try? You are better. You are better in that regard than myself. Mm. So when I realized, okay, this is my strong point. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like you said, couple, um, we uh, have uh, someone mm -hmm. improving mm -hmm. on the weakness mm -hmm. of the other person. Okay. You, are, you are good in this, and she's not. Mm -hmm. So when I realized, yeah, I'm better in communication, mm -hmm. and I, I just carried on. But it okay. almost um, it cost, uh, cost a lot in our marriage. <laughs> She, she, she's already ah. scared. Because you know, she, knows, she, knows, she knows that's the truth. <laughs> Even till now, we are still talking, talking, we are still about, talking it. about it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I remember when we were still doing we were still caught. Yeah. It, it was, no, serious. I, I was um, discussing with someone. I told the person, I said, Sir, we do, others we won't get to know the kind of um, effort someone is putting in, in a particular thing mm. because we are not there. Mm. You understand? You're not in that shoe. Mm. Okay, I can remember when, when we're dating then or when we're cutting, um, he will call and then he'll complain. Then I'll have to go extra my of having to set, you know, time me. I'm telling you because you wouldn't know. Because you know, you, when you know your weakness, mm. you know, okay, in relationship wise, maybe mm. in, especially when it comes to calling, it's not, it's not yeah. me. I'm mm. not caught out for like that kind of, to okay. Call. Like, well, I'm not, I was not shocking you that time. Yeah, it was shocking, but it was just that. <laughs> not in the regard of. Not in the yeah, it's not in she the, has a way of expressing no. her own. You know, we, okay. uh, we have a different way of expressing us. Uh, he yeah. is a communication press. Oh, my mm. husband is 100% when it comes to that. Mm. Thank he you. Yes, yeah, seriously, I was going to him. <laughs> he, his relationship was very, very important, mm. super important to him. Mm. So, and I could observe that, that okay. So, and I said, oh, so what will you do now? Okay, you need to improve in this kind of, you know, mm -hmm. it, background differs. Mm -hmm. They're coming from different backgrounds. So mm -hmm. I had to set, what did I do? do? I did uh, alarm. I said, uh, I had to, I said, okay, people, when I help you, it's time to send text message. You know, mm -hmm. you understand? You know you need to just At least you improved back. yourself. Yes, I improved a bit. Even though not a, a, a bit. <laughs> I improved a bit. Okay. But if I not be honest, you know, because mm. you are... The eye is just like someone on the eye side mm -hmm. and the other person on the no, down. No. Well, even if you move a bit, you're mm. still far from, from the <laughs> person. Still far from the person. So, <laughs> so now he so has uh, carried this cross. But he's help, he's yes, helping me. He has really helped uh, me. Mm. Uh, no, seriously. Okay, so now you at least you have improved. Too. I've improved. Even I've though really improved. Not even to though not to the expected. If I'm to, if I'm to grade that, yes. maybe I'll give her a C. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I'm mm, passed. I'm she has passed. <laughs> she, uh, <somehow>. No, serious. <laughs> mm. She used was, to be. It was very bad. Very bad. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And uh, bad. and you see, God is so God is awesome. What we are currently enjoying is now playing in our ministry mm. as a pastor. I have mm. to call church members. How are you doing? And uh, because I know my wife is not very good in that regard. Mm. See the trick I use. Mm. When I call a church member and she's there, after finishing mm. the old, I say ah. My wife wants to speak with you. And I do that a lot. So mm. they are now 
they now know the pastor she's... and mommy. They will uh, always they, call. Yes, they always call. But has, uh, I, I had to it. help her because this is her fault. Mm, this is her weakness. Her. I didn't dump her there. So to let pull me, out. Let me, let me give you a call. <laughs> it yeah. really helped. Yeah. <laughs> it really helped. So, <laughs> so they won't be feeling <laughs> that she is not caring. She's not caring. She's not, um, even asking after, after us after or anything. Yes. Meanwhile, it is our own. Um, even though I do, yeah. even on my own, I do. But it might not be. <laughs> <laughs> no, not it alarm me this time around. You know, it was because the complaint came, mm. you know, and you find that, okay, if you love someone, so somebody said, if you love someone, you want to hold the person. Yeah. So what, caused the, what brought about the issue of alarm is, okay, let's now look at it. Okay, you want to hold Pastor Paul now. Lord, friend, will not be, okay, mm. let me, what can I use to help? You understand? Mm. But when it comes to church member, it might not be as, okay, mm. now, but definitely it will come. Mm. 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 It will come, mm. that I do call. Yeah. So, very good. I, I like that. I like this scenario. <laughs> I like what, you know, knowing the differences. Now, um, you have talked about that area. I would still want you to, because, you know, when somebody, like some people, the challenge, you said the communication, that's the call now. Apart from the call, because that one started before you got married. Yeah. When we now get married, mm. there are some other things we begin to see. Mm. Yes. that we didn't see before. Mm. Uh -huh. So when you have issues, who says sorry first, if I may put it that way? Or who apologizes? Who, or how who, do you who say sorry first? <laughs> it's my, it's my <laughs> I, needed, I needed her to say no, that no. so that I can feel, uh, you can feel, you can feel good, good <laughs> about it. And yeah, yes, he says I, sorry first mm. most of the time. Why? Why? Most of the time. Well, time, it might not really be Maybe because uh, I'm not going to say the sorry at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. It's just that you find out that you may be saying, okay, before, because we have this, that's mm -hmm. okay, before we sleep, or oh, definitely will not, we won't, no fight overnight. No, mm -hmm. that's the, that's the, uh, we won't sleep over a quarrel. We won't sleep over a quarrel. We must settle it before, before sleep. we go to sleep. So most of the time you will, you might be looking at time that, okay, I will do it, I will do it, and then you, you will beat me to it most of the time, most of the time, but at least, I have few, few is, it that, <coughs> is it that you face the wall here yeah, and he'll face there and you'll be waiting? Okay, we'll look at the time yeah, before yeah, 12 o'clock. Let me, let me say that a couple of times, <laughs> we will, um, like, like you said, I, mm. I don't like when people tell you, oh, my marriage is 100%, each free, I don't have issues. And I tell them they are not being real. Mm. That's the truth. Yeah. Uh, all marriages have their everybody own. Have everybody their own have, issues. yeah. So in our home case, when after the old, I realized that would maybe we have, uh, uh, um, uh, an heated, uh, sorry, an heated argument. argument. And I'll be waiting for this woman to say, okay, I'm sorry. And one hour, two hours, my wife is there, we, st we, we lie on the bed, and we're not just talking. And uh, as bad, uh, bad as things get now, two of us could take our phone, and you're just browsing, and she's doing her own, yeah, I'm doing my, my own. own, we're not talking. But we all know that we have issues that we needed to Resolve. So devil will be telling me, leave her. She, you are the man. She should tell you sorry. Mm. She is also waiting, okay, let me wait for some time. She's not saying sorry. So most time, most times I, I, would, I would reach her and say, look, Ululufe, uh, you offended me. I didn't like what you did. And so that would initiate um, discussion. And she would now say, okay, I am sorry. Oh, and sorry. Um, we, But we, we have this principle. We don't sleep over a quarrel. If we have an issue, it will be sorted out that day. Let me just ask this a little. You said you don't sleep over. Paradventure, one person sleeps before the other. Uh, well, uh, you yeah, wake yeah. the person up? Uh, yes, it, is, it, it, it has happened before. Um, I, I was expecting her to, to, to say that. Um, I, there was a time I did something she didn't like. Mm. And so I'd already, I, I, I sleep early. And so she woke me up at night. Um, I can't remember. Let me not put time. Uh, maybe dead in the um, uh, wee hours of the night. Mm. And uh, when she woke me up, I knew there was a problem. Mm. And so I, she started telling me, you did this, you did that. But if that happened, maybe once or twice, okay. usually we make up our mind, don't sleep over a quarrel. We must settle it. But this other time, I slept over it. She didn't apologize. So I said, I, I, it can't be me all the time. Let me just... Well, you said you did something she didn't like. Yes. And you were still expecting her to come and apologize? Oh, uh, you, you know, there are, there are ways um, someone can tell you 
uh, you offended me. Mm -hmm. I was expecting, you know, this nagging. Okay. Yes, I offended her, mm. uh, but at least just pretend like things are <laughs> not like uh, good morning. You know, there's a way someone answers you, good, boy, uh, good morning. You know, the, the response is not. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't expecting, if there are issues, let's talk about it, okay. but don't give attitude. She was giving attitude. She was, she was yeah, giving attitude. Mm. Uh, but, but thank God she woke me up at night, uh, in the morning and it was sorted it was, out. It was sorted out. Was there any time that you had a very heated argument or something that, you know, you, you refused to just tell her sorry because you tell, say sorry more? Yeah. Was there any time like that? that yes, you there looked was. at her and you felt, no, this time around, I'm not going to say the sorry. Mm, yes, the, and, and uh, let me keep it real here. Uh, you know, when we feel, yes, we are pastor, I'm a pastor, we have the, uh, the spirit of God, mm. but there are times we do some things and you're wondering, who just did this now? Where did this one come from? Yes, I'm born again, but why did I react this way? Mm. My wife did something, I can't really place what it was anyways. Mm. So, I, yes, we had an argument and she raised her voice. Mm. And I felt, you don't talk to me, I'm, I'm the man of the house. Mm. Uh, mm. So why would you, I'm not your child, you, mm. you talk to me with respect. Mm. So in annoyance, and that was the first time I did that, and I guess the last one. So I, ran, I went to the bathroom and I told her, I'll say it in Yoruba and also interpret in English. Okay. I said, Nili aye, matu soru, ma soru mm. meaning, don't you ever mm. raise your voice when you talk to me. Mm. I, I needed to let her know. Mm. Someone said the simplicity of a tiger is not a sign of stupidity. Mm. You know, that I tell you, I am sorry, sorry. does not mean I'm weak. Mm. But I respect the things. So, but when you cross that line, mm. I felt um, I may be wrong anyways. Yeah, I needed to stop this. Mm. Don't raise your voice when you talk. Mm. Um, just calm down. Okay. You know. What could have made you raise your voice? Was it that you were really, really offended or you felt you just want to pass your message across? Actually, I... It was when he, I guess it was when they told me that I'd actually raised my. Okay, did he even know you were? That I said, oh, did I really? Mm. Yeah. So that means I kept. I remember that. that I remember that day. I just kept. I kept quiet. I was like, wow. You were surprised at what mm -hmm. he said. Because that's like I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, what did you say? Okay, you as didn't in, even. Eh, as in, I didn't look. Mm. I didn't really see it like. Um, that you raised oh, your voice. So did I? I was trying to. You know, there are things you do. Maybe. you they were an, it was like an unconscious. Okay. Yes, you just mm. did it, and you didn't know that you mm. raised your voice. So mm. I just kept quiet because I've not seen him like like that. Tell me, he has no ever. I was done I that. was surprised so I could do that. So I had to count caution down and say, caution that. Okay, okay. For him to react this way, that means he must have really Hot raised your person. voice. Mm. So I kept quiet. I was just looking. You didn't talk about it. After that no, time, I didn't did say you, anything. After the Seriously, time, I didn't. No, I no. didn't say anything. The matter died. Quiet. No, she apologized. I now really apologize. Okay. I had to apologize. and um, At least you were taking the lead yes, this time around. I, yes, I had to apologize. I said, no, <laughs> no I actually didn't know mm. that I had raised my voice or mm. something. No, I didn't know. It, so. It's a good thing to know that um, when one is offended, at least you can apologize. Mm. And uh, most of the time, some men feel it is the woman that should come and apologize at all times. Mm. Mm. But um, learning... Another, and we, I believe some people are learning out there that it doesn't have to be the man alone or the lady alone. Mm. Mm. The wife can apologize, the man can also yeah. apologize. To so have peace in, in, the, in the home. Which, which is the most, which is the most, most important, important, thing, most important thing, thing, you know. The sorry will not uh, remove your size mm. Mm. or your weight or anything, mm. but what it will bring is the peace in the home. and the joy you want mm. Mm. in the home. And I want to say thank you. Thank you very thank much. You. Because that, that's a big... I, uh, that's, that's something very great that you are doing, looking so simple, but yet it's, it's a big work. Mm. Hmm. Now, we thank God for children mm. and we bless God for the fruit of the womb. Mm. And uh, we have children in the home and it is the duty of the parents to handle and to train up their children. Now, who is the best, or who will I say is the disciplinarian, or who is the one that pampers most, if I can ask that question? 
<laughs> they are looking at each other. Oh, when it comes to pampering, I think it's a, it's a, a lot of family does that a lot. And you are the Pam quiet one. <laughs> 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 does that a lot. Um, he, yeah, he always at least create time for them. Want to take them out? They want to go out. They are always around. Uh, okay. Uh, anything that has to do with going out is that deal. You don't like going deal. out. I do. I I I, I tag along. <laughs> <laughs> I tag along. Okay. Initiating it might be like okay. um, a hair boy. You can, I can definitely okay. initiating the going out. Most of the time, he he, he does he that. Does that. Yeah. Mm. Does the initiation. Mm. For for me, I, I I think two of us. I think the children also have known our style. Okay. I I don't um, beat uh, on every provocation. Yes, I take time. You mm. you hear me say, hey, I start mentioning Morning. their name. Be careful, be mm. careful. Mm. Uh, so my wife is opposite me, you know. Okay. She's in the kitchen and maybe her firstborn, you know, uh, maybe there's any rift between them. Mm. Uh, you hear her, bah! Before she has already given, uh, In a yeah, yes, it's like it's like uh, she's uh, it's like a magnetic, uh, <laughs> like she's programmed, you know. You just hear the. Ah. The thing just comes. Yes, just uh, so they know. Uh, so like uh, like we, I think I was discussing. We had um, a program uh, a discussion where. We called a family meeting mm. and we told... Yeah, it was the end uh, of the year. Yes, uh, I that's think the beginning, beginning of this, of this year. year yeah. okay. So we so called a family meeting and I told the children, okay, tell daddy and mommy what you think we did last year that you didn't like and you want us to just continue. Mm. And so we told ourselves, ah, Tamlore, you're not good in this area, you know, that, know that. So they told me my own, yeah, daddy, thank you, you always take us out, you warn us. By the time they started giving my <laughs> wife our own, <laughs> In fact, I felt so sorry for her. <laughs> it was like they had planned what? that, what? thank God, that they called for a meeting like this. Mm. I was looking at my wife and I said, you this student, I, I hope this thing that you know. But they gave it to her, mommy, and you always shout. And I, I think that helped her. Mm. Yes, that family meeting where the children could be so expressive mm. without feeling you know, uh, uh, mommy will flog me. Bin, we told them, yes, yeah, be open. Told them, yeah. Don't, 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 don't be afraid. Just tell, tell us what you what think we are not doing right. Mm. And um, so when they told... So I was prepared for this. Yes, uh, and she knew... Because in I fact, before they started, she said <laughs> that she knew her scorecard would not be good. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and she guessed right. Mm. They gave it to her that morning. Mm. Um, but in a way, we later we found a way of resolving it and... I, I know she picked one or two things from the report the children gave her. Mm, mm. Which is very good. Though they were talking good about daddy. And um, the report of mommy came because she was the one always, you know, giving it out. But daddy takes us out. You know, children, when it comes to that, daddy takes us out. The outing is what most of the time they see. Mm. And so that was exactly what I told him. I said, the truth is, when it comes to um, coming into contact, with these kids, mm. it's from my hand most mm. of the time. Mm. The contact comes from my hand. Okay. I'm more at home. Do you understand? You see we, them. We are together in the kitchen. Mm. We are together in one thing or the other. So there will be one or <laughs> one thing or the other. You uh, mm. uh, 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 that will war yes. That will so warrant that shot now, or anything. Now I will give you a, a gist. I now traveled. <laughs> 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 I can't forget. Well, I was really excited that day because you know what? It made him understand that, okay, it's not as if <laughs> this woman is, you understand, he is this children Magari. too. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So I traveled. Mm -hmm. I think it was for like about three weeks. For about three weeks. Yes, wow. I was out. Mm. Every day, they would give me a call. Ah, Lulu Femi, your children. Lulu Femi, <laughs> Tammy Laura is this. Oh, baby. I said yes. That you know, was, was, if I've been calling you mm. on a daily basis yes. also, every minute, you know that, eh, eh, you understand. So, mm. it's because why we have that kind of report is because mm. you come in contact, contact with them. More. They are in mm. the kitchen with you, training. And you know, every contact is a training session. Yeah, yeah. That is where you imbibe every contact the values of the home yeah. and the teachings you mm. want the student to grow up with. And that's why I appreciate. I'm sorry for taking it from your mouth. Mm. I appreciate the fact that um, I now realize why 
she was always okay when you had that three weeks three <laughs> weeks with the children mm. i don't pray for that kind in fact <laughs> it actually told me said i mm, said mm, she will, will never not. travel <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks, I would prefer to go to somewhere, just find a way okay. to escape. No, they, they gave it to me. Wow. As I'm coming home, <sighs> it's either the sitting room is not tidy, wow. there will always be something they... to complain. And so you see me, um, Olulufe, your children. So it was like, okay. Kilo to Shele. <laughs> So that that really so made me So you see the too. reason why the, reason, the shouting and yes, the whatever that is that is necessary at times. Yes, mm. yes. It's really necessary at times. Yeah, you call me, but by the time he is coming uh, home, the home is set. Set. She would yes. have. Yes. yes. Okay. Everything will be neat. Yes. Everything. All and the so when you are shouting, why is this woman? Oh, Ma, thank you. Why is he always shouting? shouting? Well, everything is okay. But thank God you had to no, have it. No, I had I had uh, an experience. I don't pray to. You don't pray to. No, three weeks with them. Oh, so that, that is good. That mm. is good. And, uh, you know, the training of the children is very, very important. Yeah. And both parents coming together to train the children is also very, very important. Mm. Now, when you discipline the children, you know, like you, he said, your hand is as if it's programmed <laughs> to do some things. How do you react sometimes? Well, one good thing that has really helped us, um, and um, we speak as one voice, when okay. she disciplines... Um, uh, discipline the children, mm. even if I feel she has, she, she has uh, overdone, overdone the, the, So mm. I wouldn't reprimand her in, the, in their presence. Okay. So when we get to leave uh, uh, Ululufe, uh, that was too much. Mm. You know, calm down. You know, so that that is the style that we have uh, adopted. Mm. We do not really allow the children to know. Oh, that is on our side. Mommy is the. Is I don't the want. To, one is yes, the... I don't want to paint her like. Look, I am the one that I love you all. You see your mommy, she's one. Uh, she's so what you did is not good. Stop. The, your mommy is talking to you. And, and I could even get up and, you mm. know, take Bell to support. What she has what, done. Yes. If, yeah, but we'll find a way of sorting things out. Mm. Because the moment the children can spot, uh, you, have, you have succeeded in breaking the home. Mm. And they see the woman as... They can even this. Uh, are you sure this is the one that gave back to herself? Mm -hmm. uh, so and that, they know uh, that daddy will always side us anytime, yes, anytime any, yeah. and then there won't be that discipline, there won't be that respect, yes. even in the home. Mm. I want to thank you for that. But mm. sometimes when she overdoes it, do you talk to her about it? Later? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, I tell her that um, she's especially calling their names, shouting. I said you don't need to shout that I don't, just calm down, you know, find a way of... Uh, but if uh, I may ask, that three weeks, did you shout, so did you calm down? I did not calm down. In fact, I think my own shouting was even... <laughs> I think my own shouting was even more than... More than uh, our own. More than our own. But mm. because we are now staying, to, you know, she, she's at home, I'm at home, mm. and I'll go back to my first... Mm, don't mm. take it easy with, uh, with, with mm. them. But somehow we find a way to resolve all of those um, mm. in the house. And the children love the two. Though they love daddy because daddy takes them out. I take the them out. And, I, and I, I, I don't easily beat them mm, on every, you, you know, sometimes you overlook. But mommy doesn't beat them on every. Uh, do you? Not every. Almost. But you most talk. Yes. Mm -hmm. I do more of talking. Before I will strike. <laughs> it's strike. Not Is this hand? <laughs> <laughs> you know, strike it, it will take it. But we would have talked about it. You understand? It's not that, um, you know, <laughs> but it's tallow. I don't know whether that is inherent in every mother. And they, they, you know, I want my children to be wonderful children. Mm -hmm. Yorubas have been saying that when a child is good, is his father's. Yeah. When a child is bad, they say it's the, the mother. Mm -hmm. So I think the mother generally would want, you no, know, I want my daughter, by this age, you should be able to cook. You have been seeing me. This is how you do things. Mm. Why do you litter my... I don't live in the kitchen. Oh. An average woman literally stay in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen yeah. So when she comes in and sees the old place, ah, ah, I've told you when you do this. So I guess those are the things that would mm. uh, make her react uh, in, in, in some if, of those things. If I may join this to that question, before you had your children, do you help in house chores? Uh, not I do, but uh, maybe she will answer. I in my own little Me way. I do. The way she's laughing is like it's opposite. <laughs> I try, but I don't know whether she will give me a pass mark. There. So let's hear you. Okay. 
<laughs> little, a little, little. How little is the little? little. Very little. Okay, you do everything. Ah, most, most time, mostly. Mm -hmm. But I don't cross my leg while you. Mm, but you don't know that. Maybe to he help you. Other thing you do, but you know, it, there's this. Um, I always tell uh, people. I said, okay, it's all about background mm. and what we, how we taught. Taught, okay. So that when we have better understanding, we know how to do with our boy child. Okay. Maybe in, in different, you know, how to teach them in different uh, ways. It's, I think it's a culture or Nigerian thing or something that, that men, you know, men are supposed as, to. Are supposed to uh, uh, so in some, but when it comes to maybe, maybe mostly, maybe when I'm pregnant at times, yes, most times, no, when I'm pregnant. Yeah, yeah. I think mm. Then there was a time he actually told us he wants to cook for us. Yes, I remember. And he did. And he did, though. I'm yeah. a good cook. Yeah, yeah, he's a good cook. He actually entered oh. the kitchen today. <laughs> and the children really enjoyed the meal. Okay. Yes. So it's once in a while. Does, yes, uh, not like um, not once in a while. Maybe because before we come back home, okay. we're even done. Okay. Okay, so it's only once so in a while. So it's once in a while. It's been a long once time. In a while. It's been a long time. Very, I think that long. was... The, the last time was that time you cooked them. It's been a, I can't even remember. It's remember. been a very, very long time. Maybe, maybe they're asking for it again. I, I, think, I think I need to show you my, my your, skill. Your, your <laughs> 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 yes, but it's a good cook. It's a good cook. It's a good it's cook. A good cook. Mm, yes. That is very good. Yes. Uh, I'll still ask you some questions. Uh, so mm. I'll still have been saying, like, okay, me, I'll train King David so that at least he will do more. He will do more. But mm. however, maybe mm. because of um, work, for some men, it's always okay. Yeah, yes. But because at least it helps. It, uh, yes. It uh, helps. More, there was a day I got home and I was very tired. Mm -hmm. So if we can't enter the kitchen, I will find solutions to the kitchen thing. It doesn't that insist. It, does. it doesn't insist. No. You must no, we could, no, we could eat out. We can. Two. You can just say okay. Mm. Like two days ago, even something like that. I was super tired. I just I want to sleep. Do you understand? So is that I make out? Okay, let's go out and eat, or maybe you can get. You can just see something light. Light not to take. Yeah. Mm. Thank you so much. God mm. bless you. Yes, for our viewers out there, um, this is the part one of this uh, episode, and we are going to be having the part two. So we are going to be rounding it up right now. But I want you to know that the part two is still on the way. You are hearing some good things. We are. There, there, is, uh, there are more to come that um, Pastor Adekwekba is going to tell us more. Even concerning these children, we are not yet done. <laughs> we are still coming back to it to know how he's taking care of the children and how he's taking care of the home. But I believe that you have been blessed by what you have heard today. And I know that uh, the Lord will minister to those homes where there are issues concerning communication or even asking, you know, saying sorry to one another when there are problems. Um, we thank you um, for what you have given us today mm -hmm. and trusting the almighty God that next week you will stay tuned to hear the concluding part of this child care and uh, <laughs> uh, uh, family care, if I may put it that way, um, of this wonderful family. I want to say thank you. Thank if you're you. just joining, us on this program we've been talking with pastor and pastor mrs paula de Quigba. they have been sharing their experience concerning their marriage and this is not the concluding part this is just the part one we're still going to have the concluding part by the grace of god next week so please stay tuned and i know you will be you'll be blessed uh till we come your way same time next week i remain olua toy olalekon say thank you stay blessed and god bless you mm -hmm.